Example 6.2, here we have the transistor in the circuit, which is our figure here, has a B of 100, and it exhibits a VBE of 0 0.7 volts at an IC of 1 milliamp. We're going to design the circuit so that a current of 2 milliamps flows through the correct collector, like our IC, and a voltage of 5 volts appears at the collector. So, looking at this problem, it's going to be a NPN. We know this because of how our arrow is pointing away from our base. So if we need to design the circuit so that 2 milliamps flows out and we have voltage here, we need to find some resistance, right? So when we come down here, first we start with our RC, right? That's the initial thing that we have right here that we're looking for. We know our base is going to be grounded, so that helps us out a lot. Well, our VC, we know, is going to be right here, right? Because we have our C right here, and then we're going to have our VE right here. So that's given to us, basically. If we look at the notes linked below the like button, and the, before we do any of that though, we note at the outset, and since we are required to design for VC is equal to plus 5 volts, the voltage drop across our RC is going to be the 15 minus 5. So again, our VC is equal to 5 volts, because 5 volts appears across the collector. So now we need to find our RC. And we know RC, we're just going to take the source voltage minus the uh, voltage we have on the other side, and that's going to be over the current. right? And the current here is 2 milliamps, right? Because we want to design the circuit so that 2 milliamps will flow, even though our IC is 1 milliamp here. So we have 2 millis down here, so that's going to be 10 volts over 2 milliamps, and that's going to give us a 5 kilo ohm resistor for this. So that's going to be our resistor value. Now let's keep going. We want to find our RE. Well, we have to find a few other things first. We know that we have a voltage for our base emitter right here. And our V or IE is going to be equal to the negative VBE. And that gives us right here because we're basically saying, well, we have VE minus VE. So VE minus VBE, that's what the VBE is for. And since our VE is zero, this is kind of just going to zero out. So we have a negative VBE here. That's how we would get that. So writing this out, our VBE is given to us as 0 0.7 volts. And then we have the equation, rest of the equation right here. And this equation was derived from our page 103 of the notes. It's going to look like this, like this. We wrote this out, so just moving some things around, we are going to get what we have right here. The general formula, which is going to be this right here. So that is what we are plugging in. And then we're going to get a 0 0.717 volts. Since the base is zero, the emitter voltage should be this value. Remember, because it's going to be like zero minus 0 0.717 volts. So that is going to be the VE right here. Now we can keep going. So our beta is given to us as 100, and our alpha is going to be 100 over 101. Uh, I don't know if this was given to us, but this can be easily found on the same page for the 103 in the notes link below the like button. We just combine some factors and we are going to get that value. So we are going to get 0 0.99 here and our IE, this is again on the same page as the notes, is equal to IC over alpha. That's going to give us 2.02 .02 milliamps. Now the value required for RE can be determined because we want to find the resistor. That's what we were talking about earlier. We want to find resistance out here. So this resistor, like we've looked at previously in this RC, is going to be the source voltage. So we can see that we have our voltage E right here, we have the emitter, minus the negative 15, which is the output voltage here. And it's over our IE because obviously we have some current flowing through here, and we're going to put that over it. And our IE is equal to IC plus IB. That's in the formula as well on page 103. And that's going to be the 2.02 .02 milliamps that we just found. So that gives us a 7.07 .07 kilo ohms. And that's going to be the answer for this problem and how we would go about solving it. This is going to complete the design. We should note, however, that the calculations above were made with a degree of precision that's usually neither necessary nor justified in practice. In view, for instance, if, if the accepted tolerances of component values. Nevertheless, though, we chose to design the circuit precisely in order to illustrate the various steps involved. So like the 0.7, uh, that's not 
100% necessary. Um, it's very precise, but it's okay to be precise. And that is how we would go about looking at and solving this problem step by step from top to bottom and how it is a NPN.